What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How y'all doing today? Hope that your day is going fine. If not, I hope tomorrow gets better. Uh, I know y'all see this steering wheel. I left my other tripod holder or my phone holder in the other car. So this is the view for today. Hey, but it's kind of creative, you know? Let's call this behind the wheel. <laughs> nah, but uh, I wanted to talk about the uh, Kanye West trilogy. Uh, three-part series if you guys didn't know what trilogy meant three parts and um, part one came out on February the 16th and uh, I just watched it and I thought it was so far so good so far so good that that's how I would uh, sum it up you know uh, it really give you an in-depth look of behind his journey coming up I mean it start when he was already doing stuff in the industry. So I want to say this. I don't know if I'll give away any spoiler alerts. So be cautious while watching this video. I don't know what all I'm going to talk about. But I'm going to just give my overall opinion. And wherever I go, I go. But um, the first thing I noticed in watching this documentary was that people are fake. People are so fake. Like the people who... You probably know some of these names in the documentary, but you could tell, man, some of these people were all about themselves. They were fake. <clears throat> and people just, just fake, you know. Um, it was a part in the documentary where Kanye West was trying to shop his song around and people were asking for beats. It, but, you know, during those conversations, the it was all about that person and not Kanye because you could tell he was the person trying to come up you get what i'm saying and they were treating him just like that you know and that taught me something you know out of uh watching it it showed me don't ever think just because you up you know what i'm saying that you better than somebody or you treat somebody you know like oh uh, whatever you know that's because that's how a lot of people in my opinion was treating him like Oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you'll be here today going tomorrow. But a lot of those people are not around even who was in the documentary. You get what I'm saying? But it was just that it was that that part of seeing how people were acting and treating him. It really made me like check myself and just really realize how fake people is. Like you hear people say that all the time, how fake the industry is <clears throat> and it show. If you couldn't see that, then you need to go uh, check your bifocals or get you some more contacts because it clearly showed. But it really just showed his come up, you know, how he was, you know, uh, making beats for people, how he came out of Chicago and, you know, how he was popping in the city and how he went from Chicago to New York and was out there for a year talking about how broke he was, but how his work ethic played a part in what, made him who he is now and i'm telling you i i believe i always said kanye was like ahead of his time or knew something different you know what i'm saying because how do you just start coming up and say i'm finna make a documentary that's what it seemed like to me and like when people was um seeing him with the camera crew or his friend uh, i think it's called Cody or cody or something like that i can't remember his friend name but um, him and his friend was, you know, just recording and documenting his journey. And it was like, you know, what's going on? He was like, yeah, I'm doing a documentary. This man was already doing the documentary from when he first came in the game. That's smart. And I tell any artist that's, that's doing something, start documenting your journey. Because when it, and later, years later, you got a whole bunch of stuff to work with. You got tons of material to con continue producing content. So I would say that's just a little side note. But um just to think about like I'm a, I'm a document this and I'm going to I'm going to release it later. I don't know if it was a thought or what, but it was pretty interesting how they came up with that concept to do that. And um some parts of the documentary was touching like when you see him with his mama, oh man, like you could see the relationship that they had on TV, but just this behind the scenes footage of how him and his mama interacted with each other, how she uh she knew his raps, you know, she she was telling him all kind of encouraging things and keeping him humbled and grounded. And just seeing that really 
makes you realize how impactful she was on his life. And I think like that's what's going on with him now because you could see how she could just say certain things and he would just tune out and listen. You know, he'll just, t well, not tune out, but tune into her and take into what she was saying. But just the way that they had that relationship, it was it was different. And, you know, a lot of times I talk about mama-son relationships, how the mama loved their sons. I, I don't think it was <clears throat> like that with them two. I mean, she was more of like, she knew what he possessed. She knew what he had in him, and she just knew how to how to cultivate it. That's what I believe. But that that part of it, it was sad, but it was also insightful to see how their relationship was because it, it was just it had a different dynamic to it, and it just opened up your eyes about you know how he maneuvered through life. And one thing about the uh, the camera guy, I cannot remember his name. I want to say Cody or Cody. Cody. I'm sorry. But um he was doing things on his own in Chicago too, but he dropped everything he did and started following Kanye. And and that spoke something to me. It's like sometimes you don't always have to be in in the forefront of something. You could be behind the scene. And even though him being behind the scene was like not a knock to him, he was still doing what he loved because <clears throat> later in the documentary they got into his story and it just showed like he was producing something he didn't even even know what he was doing for the future so he directed and narrated this film <clears throat> and he still has his stamp he got his place into following his dream because his dad bought home a camcorder and he just Im immediately kind of took to the camcorder and now look this man that produced the movie and he was working with somebody else and overall, man, this whole, this this documentary made me see that <clears throat> when you working with somebody, really invest in them. Don't just be doing it just because if you're going to invest in somebody, invest in somebody. If you're going to take time to listen to somebody, take time and really listen to them. Don't just blow them off because that reminds me of when Kanye West was doing the All Fall Down uh, song. He was shopping that song into uh, record labels, right? And I remember at one point, it was kind of weird, and you do have to think, like, the people who he was uh, singing these songs to were at work, but they went in the Rockefeller offices. He was trying to perform the song, but one lady was just looking at him like, uh, it's like she was uncomfortable, and she rightfully probably was, but I don't know if she had any power to do anything, but it was it, you have to see it and and see the interaction but a lot of people were looking at him like man what are you doing man would you go somewhere but then he went and sang it to another lady and uh i think that she was really paying attention to him because he said the line couldn't afford the car so she named her daughter alexis and he like she heard that and she was like you heard what he said so she was kind of into it but um overall it was like people was overlooking him like and, and that's another thing too like he knew who he was when he came into the industry because he was like i'm gonna show y'all that it's more than one side of me like i could do this i could do this and, and that's what i think a lot of people want you to think about yourself you can only do one thing you can only do one thing but this man showed you no i could do this and this and probably do it a lot better than a lot of other people which I do believe, you know, but um, it's a very interesting documentary. It's, it's very captivating for me, I guess, because I'm a fan, but I do like it. I mean, it's so much stuff that's covered that I'm not even touching the tip of the iceberg on, man. But it even shows about um, how when he was starting to come up, the people who he learned from started kind of showing a little bit of dislikeness to him you know so it kind of showed like it was one scene in there where one of his mentors had um made a diss song about him and he was in the back seat and he called he was like how they got a diss song about me and kanye went and met with the guy but it was just like when the guy was talking to him this dude looked like he was hurt like 
He looked like a little puppy dog. You know what I'm saying? Kanye did when, when, when he was talking to him. And that was like, dang. Like, this this look is not new. This, this you know, if we go back, we've been seeing this. You know, so even the way that he act today, I, I think it stems from a lot of stuff that, you know, he that piled on him. I don't know. All I know is that when when people call Kanye West crazy, I didn't call him crazy. I, I say I don't know. Because I, I, I don't like calling people crazy because you don't know what a person is going through mentally. You don't know where they are mentally. And, I mean, you call a person crazy, that's kind of like, that's an insult. So, I never did call Kanye crazy. I say he wow. I say he may be dealing with some stuff. But I, I can't really say that I ever caught them crazy, man. But this whole documentary, it has me. And I'm mad because... I thought it was going to be something that I could binge watch, but it's not. It, um, the other uh, episode don't come out to a couple, maybe a week or so after the first episode aired. So I think it's even genius the way they're doing that. Like you get a buzz, you get people talking about it, and you know now they're going to be wanting to see the second one. And because I know I'm ready to see it, but overall. I, I think if if you are anyway interested in watching the evolution of Kanye West, go back in and look at this documentary, and I think that it will be very insightful for you. And it don't even matter what we think about the man. I mean, it don't matter what we think about the next person, but I think you'll be able to have a better understanding of the actions that he produced and the way he is for for your understanding and opinion because i don't know the man in real life i just see the character or i see what's online just like everybody else do but overall i enjoyed the documentary i honestly would watch it again and it's almost an hour and maybe 40 minutes if i'm not mistaken but it's it's, it's worth the watch for me it's worth the watch because i i like it and it's once again it's insightful man so I want y'all, if you like this video, if you saw it, go ahead and tell me what you thought about it and um, drop it in the comment section. Uh, let me know how y'all feel about it. Let me know, you know, drop it down there because it, it, it's a conversation piece for me. So I, I want to talk about it with some people and see what y'all thought about it. I appreciate y'all until the next time. Peace.